As part of its Bougainville Referendum Research Project, two draft reports were released today by the PNG National Research Institute. These reports focusing on the autonomous region's fiscal autonomy as well as on the issue of political autonomy. According to PNG NRI Director Dr. Osborne Sanida, given that Bougainville is counting down to its date of referendum, these reports highlight some issues that the PNG NRI feel need to be given thought by stakeholders both from Papua New Guinea as well as from the autonomous region of Bougainville. The NRI is making, uh, conducting these studies independently to contribute to discussions on the referendum. So we are happy to have uh, international experts to uh, contribute in terms of the work to these studies. The report on fiscal autonomy was spearheaded by Professor Satis Chand. According to Professor Chand, an immediate need for Bougainville is to increase the capacity to fund its own budget regardless of the level of autonomy it has now or may have following referendum in 2019. Of particular importance, developmental taxation, broadening the tax base for Bougainville. Professor Chan says given mining is still a controversial issue on the island and that revenue from mining may take a decade to be realized, the autonomous region should be looking to fisheries or agriculture as ways to increase internal revenue. We sort of know how much money Bougainville would need to provide the current level of services. Right? The next question is saying how fast can the economy grow? And it can draw from experiences elsewhere as the fastest rate that is possible versus what we have experienced so far. If you grow very fast, you can achieve that target within a decade. Okay? But if you grow, if you don't grow at all, you will never get there. See what I'm saying? So yes, once you know how much do you need, you can work backwards. But that means that we need to have developmental taxation, which means that we have to have policies and resources targeted at growing the economy. So in terms of collection, it always makes sense to have a, an overarching body that manages the entire resource. Okay? So that's one point. The other is, as you divide the actual administration of those regions separately into smaller and smaller subunits, the cost of administering that rises. Right? It's like having smaller and smaller governments. So in this case, just on pure economics, economies of scale says that the one agency managing the overall resource makes a lot more sense, but there has to be an agreement between the governments as to how the revenue being collected is going to be shared. The PNG NRI also released a draft report on political autonomy. This was presented by Martina Tretel. The report looked at the various forms of autonomy that are present in other jurisdictions and compared these to the Bougainville experience. According to Ms. Tretel, with the date for referendum fast approaching, there is an imminent need for both the national government as well as the ABG to work out what sort of arrangement that may be beneficial for the island region in the immediate future as well as post-referendum. The report has highlighted the need for both governments to share the responsibility of autonomy going forward. If there, then there is the time to build capacity and to start to create a know-how regarding these issues. And I think this is the biggest challenge that Bougainville has regarding its autonomy. Following the release of these two draft reports today, the research team will be presenting the findings to the autonomous Bougainville government in Buka, Bougainville, in the coming days. Now the communication is really up, is we are doing it to government level, like what we're doing now, and to the key people in Bougainville we're going to go across. The challenge is really now to sort of extend that communication and really get that information down to the ordinary people. And, and that's something that we will need to work on.